Hello, I'm Anthony uh, from uh, Rennes in France. Um, today I'm going to talk to you about uh, one of the first annotation steps that you perform after sequencing a new organism. Uh, so it's in this section, genome annotation, and then this tutorial, masking repeats with repeat masker. So this step is uh, repeat masking. So usually when you uh, sequence and assemble a new genome, uh, you get a FASTA file containing the, the new sequences corresponding to the genome you sequence. And uh, if you are in particular uh, studying eukaryotic genomes, uh, a large portion of this uh, sequence is composed of uh, repeated elements that can be very small uh, sequences, like uh, just a few uh, bases, like 80 repeated a, a large number of times, just uh, one to, next to each other. That's called tandem repeats. Or you can have uh, a bit longer sequences that are repeated uh, in different positions of the genomes. Uh, so it's uh, for the short interspace nuclear elements or the long interspace nuclear elements. And they can come from um, specific uh, things like transposons or viral sequences. So why do we want to mask them? So first, this uh, repeated sequence can be interesting on their own if they are they are coming from um, a specific uh, uh, transposons and, or viral viral six, uh, sequences. But they also can have effects on the expression of genes. So you might be interested in, in knowing where they are on the genomes. Uh, the problem with these repeated elements is that Often, when you have a new genome, you want to annotate it to find the gene locations because you are often uh, highly interested in genes. But the presence of all these repeated elements can be a problem for the annotation software that will try to detect the gene position. So often, the first step when you get a new sequence is to detect all these repeated elements, to mark them. We will see how later. And then the annotation uh, tools will take this information into account to try to predict more uh, accurately the gene position uh, later. So there are different, uh, two different ways of uh, masking repeated, uh, repeats in a genome. The first one is soft masking. In this case, uh, the result of this, uh, of this analysis will be your FASTA file with uh, repeated elements printed in uh, written in a lower case instead of upper case. And the other one is hard masking. And in this case, all the repeated elements found by the software in the, in the genome will be replaced by the letter N, which means you will lose some sequence information um, from the, the sequence. So there are multiple uh, software tools to perform this uh, repeat masking step. Uh, today, we are going to test uh, red and uh, repeat masker, but there are other ones like repet. And um, these tools sometimes use a specific de databases to, 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 to detect uh, repeated elements that have already been uh, detected in other genomes. So the most known uh, repeated, repeated elements uh, database are DFAM, and RebBase. And RebBase Red, is, um, is a non-free uh, uh, database, which means you often have to pay to use it. So today we are going to use DFAM. And to, to perform the tutorial, we're going, we are going to use um, a genome that was assembled following another tutorial of the GTN, which is the Fly SMB tutorial that you can click here. So let's start uh, our tutorial. The first thing is to get the, our data into an history. So just copy this URLs. I've created a new history on usegalaxy.eu. Um, this tutorial should work on all their use Galaxy servers, but uh, we have tested it here. I'm going to rename it. OK. And then I'm going to upload data here. Okay, so now it's uploaded, and you have uh, three files. The first one is the genome sequence in FASTA format that was uh, assembled by a fly. 
So you see all the letters are uppercase and you have a different, uh, yeah, uh, more than a thousand different contigs. The two of the thighs are uh, repeat uh, libraries. We will use it a bit later in the tutorial. So the first tool we are going to use is called red. So you just tap red in the tools search box like this and you select it. And this tool is a very uh, simple tool. It just takes as input the, the FASTA sequence of the genome you want to mask and you just click on run tool. So this is a tool uh, which uses uh, machine learning techniques. So it doesn't use any repeat uh, library at all you know, or any databases, but it will just look at the sequence and based on the training, um, training data that was obtained from analy analyzing a lot of published genomes, uh, the red tool will be able to detect uh, so, uh, chunks of sequence in your genome that looks like repeated elements. So it will run for a bit uh, now. Okay, red is finished now. You have two output data sets in your history. The first one, if you look at it, contains genome, the genome sequence, but as you can see, uh, parts of it have been uh, uh, written in lowercase which uh, correspond to repeated element as detected by uh, by red. So you can see there are a big proportion of the genomes that is repeated. And the other output file is a bed file uh, showing you all the positions of uh, all the repeated elements that were detected by uh, red. So you see on which chromosome at which position exactly. Um, this is interesting, but you might want to have um, some statistics on the on this result. So you can get it from the I icon here. In the, stand, the tool standard output, this is what is written by the tool when it uh, processes your input uh, data. And at the end here, you see uh, the, the basic statistic, which means, oh, sorry. Yes, uh, that it analyzed the genome that is uh, 48 megabases. It found uh, a total of 14 megabases of repeated elements, which represent around 30% of the genome sequence. So this is quite a usual number for this kind of genome, which is a fungal genome in our case. Um, so if you look back at the FASTA file, you see that it's in lowercase, which means it's in um, it's a soft masking uh, operation that was done by red by default. But you can, of course, as explained in the tutorial, convert it to a hard masking, uh, hard mask FASTA file by using the mask FASTA bed tool from bed tools here. So here you just um, select the bed tools, bed, uh, the bed output file from red, which is the data set number 10, and the uh, FASTA file from uh, that you used at the beginning, which is genome row. And uh, here we, we don't want to soft mask, we want to hard mask, which is the, the default. And you click on red tools and then you wait a little. Okay, so now uh, while it uh, still is waiting and uh, run queue, we are going to run another tool uh, for repeat masking, which is quite uh, used uh, in the literature. It's named repeat masker. So it's installed on usegalaxy.eu here. You just select it and you select uh, the, the row sequ uh, genome sequence from the beginning here. And here we're going to try to perform repeat masking based on the, uh, a repeat database, which is then DFAM. And we are going to select a specific species from, from DFAM. So all the repeated elements known uh, by DFAM are, are, are associated to specific uh, organisms. 
So when you run repeat masker, you have to select which organism is the closest to the one you're trying to mask. So in our case, we're going to use uh, Homo sapiens, which is quite far from a fungal species, but this is just to show you uh, what, what it will give you uh, for result. And uh, what we want at the end is a uh, way. Uh, we want to select the GFF output and um, we want to perform soft masking instead of hard masking. That's what we usually do. Hard masking is really uh, not that helpful because you lose a lot of information from the, the sequence when you perform hard masking. So that's not really uh, useful usually. Um, so you just run this tool. So at the end of the repeat masker tool, you get five different output files. The first one is the masked sequence, which looks exactly as the red uh, masking uh, output. You get the output log here, which gives you um, a tabular list of all the repeats that were found in the in the genomes. And you get the statistics. That's the most impost, important part for uh, our tutorial. And here you can see that repeat masker is able to classify the repeated elements that he, that was that were found in the different categories here. And uh, for each one, you have the percentage of the sequence. And you can see that uh, in total, this repeat masker run using the humans. Um, training data uh, found only 2.41% of the genomes to be repeated. So this is much lower than the 30% of the red uh, tool. But it makes sense because we used hum uh, human um, data from DFAM to uh, find repeat in our genome. So it's important to choose the right um, repeat masking library. Um, and as there is not a specific library for the, the organism that we are studying, uh, we won't be able to use DFAM directly to have good results using repeat masker, but we can use some pre-generated uh, repeat library designed specifically for this organism. So if you, rem if you remember at the beginning, we uploaded two uh, different FASTA files, the MUCO library RM2 FASTA and EDTA FASTA. These files are just FASTA sequences containing um, some repeated elements that were found on the genomes by uh, different tools. The first one, RM2, stands for Repeat Modeler. And EDTA is another software that can be used to produce this kind of libraries. So they work, these two uh, Repeat Modeler and EDTA, just by looking at the FASTA file and detecting uh, which sequence are repeated in a genome in various locations. So let's see what it will, uh, how it will perform if we use these specific libraries instead of DFAM. So we uh, run a repeat masker once again, using as usual the, the row sequence from the beginning. But here, instead of st selecting DFAM, we select a custom library of repeats and we will use uh, RM2. You can do the same for EDTA later if you want. And then I click on uh, the GFF output and, uh, and that's it. I run it. Okay, now when it's finished, you can have a look at the sequence now. It was masked using this new library and you can see that there are much uh, larger parts of the genomes that are in lower case now. And if you look at the statistics here, you can see that repeat masker was able to find 34% of the genomes to be repeated in the various uh, categories that are displayed here. Um, so it's much more um, similar to what RED gave, and uh, it's supposed to be much more accurate since uh, the library that was used was trends specifically for this genome. You can do the same thing for EDTA. And you will get some um, very similar result, which will give you 32% of the genome. 
Now what if you want to um, to analyze your own genome and you don't have, you don't have a repeat library uh, that was generated for you and you know it's not very well uh, uh, known by the DF DFAM uh, library. Um, in this case, you can do exactly what was done to generate this RM2 FASTA file here. You can use the repeat modeler tool here. Yes, that's it. <laughs> no space in the name. So this tool is quite simple. It just take as a, as input the 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 FASTA sequence uh, that you just assemble, and you run it like this. But uh, the only um, problem with this tool is that it takes several hours to run. So for now it's running, but look at it. Now it's magical. It's already finished. If you can, uh, if you look at this dat data set consensus sequences, you'll see exactly all the sequences that were detected by Repeat Modeler. Uh, that correspond to repeated sequence from your genome. So this is this file that you can use in repeat masker, like this one here. And this file, you can save it and um, use it to assemble uh, any new assembly of the same genome. It should give quite similar results. And if you have very close species to the one you're, you're, you're studying, you can also probably use it uh, two. Or you can prefer to generate a very specific library by analyzing the whole uh, genome with repeat model. Okay, so that's it. Uh, we've seen how to perform repeat masking. The usual way is to use, yeah, for a non-model organism to just run repeat modeler after assembly, get a new library, and then run repeat masker to get a, a cleaned, um, cleanly masked genome. Once you have it, it's ready for the next step, uh, which is the uh, genome annotation to find genes on the genomes. And for this, you can use very different tools like um, Maker, Breaker, Fun Annotate, um, and so on. That's it. Thanks for listening.